Hello guys, welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is Gift Bozekana. I'm at Stellenbosch University. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself to my viewers at home? Okay, my name is Karida Stafford. I'm currently studying mechatronics and I'm fourth year. What? Fourth year mechatronics? Oh, oh, oh. How is it studying engineering? Your experience as an engineering student? Well, I started in COVID, so the first two years was not so good. Yeah. But I think in my third year, I started enjoying it. It's a lot more practical, your third and your fourth year. It's more practical. So what is mechatronics? Um, is it about robots? Yeah. What are they? Robots? What, what is mechatronics? What's happening there? Um, when I try to explain mechatronics to people, I normally say it's robotics. I think that's the easiest one. So automation, um, yeah, automating systems, robotics, yeah. What's happening the robotics? What's happening? Like, it's okay. For example, one of our projects last semester was um, building an automatic coin sorter. So coding everything, wiring the whole system, building it. Um, yeah, like it's the mechanical side as well as the like the electrical side. So megatronics is just a combination of electrical so, stuff and mechanical stuff. Oh, it's a hybrid. Yes. Oh, yeah. wow, wow, wow. Yeah. It's difficult. Yes, yeah, I try, I try, but how it's did, difficult. How did you survive your first year of megatronics and second year? What are the things that like things that you did, you know, your daily routine? Yo, I honestly didn't survive my second and first year. <laughs> Um, it was in COVID, so I don't think it's going to be the same for everyone, but yo, uh, let me think. Study methods. Study methods? Yo, I can't remember, it's so long, yeah. long ago. Um, uh, let me think, study methods. It's a lot of self-study, like you can't just go to classes, it's a lot of self-study. For me, you have to put in a lot of extra time on your own. Um, so just going to lectures is not good enough. You have to actually go read the textbook or yeah, self-study. Self-study for me worked the best because the lectures they sometimes talk too fast and I can't follow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, 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 wow. Okay. So you're in fourth year. Yes. Uh, what kept you through until this uh, until fourth year? Because there are those who that you started with. Yeah. But they're no longer here, you yeah. know. They they just yeah. you know the way cover cover, and then when I, you you did survive to until fourth year, what kept you going? Okay, so definitely my first two and a half three years was terrible because it's a lot of theory, a lot of calculations, and it's hard because I don't enjoy calculations. But I think I just re I was um I hold on to my end goal, like I knew what engineering is about, and I knew where I wanted to be. So even though I didn't the, enjoy the degree so much, like I know where I want to be. So even though the physical de de degree is not that much fun, like I love practical stuff. So I knew my like my third and fourth year I would enjoy, enjoy it more. So and my dad just told me just keep on going because at least I have a degree. <laughs> Okay, so you said uh, mechatronics is all about robotics, automation, right? So where can I work with mechatronics? Yo, it is a very broad field. I think that's also why I chose it, choose it, um, purely because it's very broad. Um, you can do, like I'm not 100% sure yet, but like you can work in, in many, many departments and they're also like engineering on its own. They hire you also for the way you think. So it's not just what you learn in your degree, but it's also um, a way of thinking. So, um, you can work in yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more you you gain skills in solving problems, thinking out of the, out of the box, solving difficult problems, and that can be used anywhere, wherever you want to work, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, guys, there are opportunities in engineering, right? Okay. You're enjoying more and mechatronics, you don't regret choosing. No, no, not at all. Like it's hard work. Like it's very hard work, but it's if you put in the hard work it's it's doable. Yeah. It's doable. Any last words words of motivation, advice to students at home who are intending studying mechatronics? You can look at them there. <laughs> oh look at you. <laughs> if you like solving problems, if you like thinking outside of the box, if you like um 
complex problems to solve and your brain's constantly thinking about how can I improve, how can I make something easier, how can I design something, then I would say Megatronics is a good degree to consider because it definitely forces you to come up with unique solutions and think outside of the box and come up with really cool stuff that other degrees don't necessarily um, have that freedom of designing and yeah, coming up with really cool solutions. Wow, wow, wow. You must be a critical thing. Yeah, and also curious. You have to be curious and ask a lot of questions. So if you ask a lot of questions, then definitely consider engineering. Wow. Guys, we are blessed indeed to have a mechatronics uh, engineering student. Finally, soon to be a mechatronics engineer. Wow, wow. Thank you so much for your time uh, on this channel. Give us a all the best. We are eagerly waiting for your graduation. Thank you. <laughs>